Black Horse Lover 200 here again, and today's video is going to be a barn tour of my Silver Star Stables, and a lot of you guys have been requesting one, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, so we're actually going to start here with our truck and trailer, and driving the truck, we have Tim, because he is our truck driver. And then in the back, we got Kipper, and he's one of our farm dogs. And this truck here is actually pulling one of our horse trailers. And then in the trailer, we have Apache, and he's actually my track nurse stallion. And then beside him is Violet, and she is a pinto mare. And these guys are just taking for a little ride. I'm not sure where they're going, but yeah, so that's the truck and trailer. And then if we go this way, we will end up where the jump storage is. And yes, I know it's a total mess, but it is always like this, pretty much. So there's just some random jumps here, a bunch of pools, and you know, just stuff like that. And then this here is actually our arena, by the way, guys. And out front of the arena is um, Liana's tack box, a pot of flowers, and a little black kitten. He just basically runs around here. He really doesn't have a name. But yeah, so anyways, inside of this tack box is just a bunch of, you know, random tack, like the saddle, and there's some stuff in here made by Schleck Horse Girl 11 because I ordered from her a while back. And I'm not going to go into really high detail on what all's in there, but, you know, just random riding stuff. There, I think there's a crop in here, you know. So anyways, in the arena, we have Sophie and Honey. And Sophie's actually using some of this custom tack I made. So this saddle and bridle is by Shalek, but I just went back and painted in all the buckles and the stirrups and the saddle pad and stuff. So I'm really happy with how it turned out because I, I just did it like not too long ago. But yeah, so Sophie and Honey are going to be going over this little jump here. And then in the corner, we have Lizzie riding Ruby. And Ruby is one of my Andalusian mares. And then here we have a bar to tie your horses up to when you're grooming or saddling up or blanketing your horse or, you know, what have you. But it's actually the middle divider out of one of the Shalek horse trailers. And yeah, so that's just there. And then down here, there's another pot of flowers. And this little thing that you use to water your plants. Um, in every barn tour, I forget what they're called, including this one. But you guys know what they are, right? They're just, you know, you water your plants with them. So yeah. And then if you take a bend and go this way, um, it's kind of like a little alley here. And on this side, we have a bag of dog food, another cat, and his name is Sylvester. Then we have these stairs for like when you're mounting your horse. And this here is actually Teresa's tack box. And in it, there's her other dressage saddle. She has two of these and then a bridle I made her. And we just keep that right there. And then on this side, there is a paddock. So in this paddock, we have Ace, and he is actually a halflinger stallion, and he is super cute. And then also in this paddock, we have Silverton, and he is a Camarage stallion. And they got some feed here, um, you know, just a bag of oats. And I pretend they got water, um, I really don't have a water bucket out here, but you know guys, it's all make-believe, right? And then out front of their paddock, there's a crate with some jumping boots in it. And we have a stack of hay here, and on top of this one bale, there is a body brush. And then here we have Stephanie, and she's going to clean her tack, and she's got a little sponge there. And this tack here is actually handmade, and I actually made it a few days ago. Well. It was more like a week ago, but I'm really proud of it. It turned out great for me. And then over there, or right here in this corner, there's a little Schleck grooming kit. And I'll show it to you, but I gotta put the camera down. So inside of it, there's a curry comb and a body brush. 
and these shellac grooming kits are awesome. So I got, I got like three of them and I love them so much. So that just goes back there. And then this here is the entrance to um, this barn here. But before we go in there, I'm going to kind of give you guys a quick idea of what's over on this side. Okay, so here there is a um, white saddle pad, and it actually goes with that saddle that Stephanie was cleaning. And then underneath that, there is a big crate here that has a bunch of these little bags of Schleich horse treats in them. And they just go right there. And then here there is a bale of hay, and on top of it, there's a cluster of apples and a little blue curry comb. Okay, so if we wanna get in this barn, we gotta take the roof off. So I'm just going to set this aside. And then in here, there is four stalls and there's a bunch of tack and horses and everything. So we are going to start here. And this here is actually Flora and Cloudy and they're both tinkers. And all the horses in this barn have their food and water. And then out front of this stall, we have Teresa's tack, and this is her dressage saddle and bridle. And then here we have a big crate of carrots, and then on this saddle rack, not rack, rack, sorry about that. On this saddle rack, we have a bucket, and it's just hanging from the bridle hook. And then in this stall, we have Christy, and she is a new person that is working here, and so far she's been doing a great job. So she is leading Cora into her stall, and Cora is actually a Hanoverian. And Cora actually has a salt lick in her stall. Um, not all the horses get these because I only have like two of them. And then across the barn hall here, there is two more stalls, and they're exactly the same as these ones. So in this first one, we have Blossom, and she's our Alba Tiki mare. And she is very busy nibbling away at the floor because she is determined to find a piece of hay there. And she probably will. And then out front of her stall, there is Emily's Western Saddle. And it's just sitting on the saddle rack, pretty much. And Blossom actually has a, um, she actually has a salt lick like Cora and of course all the food and water. And then across from her stall in the stall, we have Lucky, and he is a Halflinger Colt. And Lucky is just getting a few apples because he's a little hungry. And out front of his stall, we have Lizzie's Tack, and it needs to be cleaned, and she's going to do that as soon as she's done riding Ruby. And yeah, so that's it for this barn. And there's actually one more paddock over here. And in it, we have Minnie and Jericho. And they're both um, isolated ponies. And of course, they got their food and water and all that good stuff. And then out back to the barn, we have Samson. And he is just staring at all these beautiful horses we have out in the pasture. So this here is Tilta, and she's a Tennessee Walker mare. And then this here is Electra and her bull Donna, and they're both Camarages. And then that there is Firecracker, and he's a Pinto Colt. And then this is Princess, she's an Arabian mare. And this here is Mystery, and she's an Arabian mare as well, but she's just taking a nap. And then across from this big pasture, we have the Stallion's Pasture. And in it, we have Wildfire, and he is a Mustang Stallion. We also have Fireball, and he's a Pinto Stallion. And that there is a Fury, and he as well, just like Wildfire, is a Mustang. And he is my favorite Schleck horse ever. I love him so much. And then behind Fury, we have Domino, and he is an Appaloosa Stallion. And then out front of the Stallion's pasture, we just have a small picnic area, and there's just two picnic tables that I made, and they turned out really nice for me. And then on this picnic table, um, Teresa just has her phone there, if you're wondering what that is. And then over here we have Emily, and she's just going for a little bareback ride on Wind Dancer. And Wind Dancer is actually a Pinto Stallion. 
And then over here, we have John, and he is just doing some jumping exercises with his horse, Rockstar. And I'm sorry if you can see my knees. Um, I'm in a really tight spot here, so I'm having a hard time keeping them out of the clip. But anyways, this here is our round pin, and in it, we have um, King, and he's our Tinker Stallion. And we also have Rocky, and he is a Clydesdale Gelding, but I made him a Shire since he is really big, and I just wanted him to be a Shire. And then this here is Clyde, and he as well is a Shire Stallion. And then if we go to the right a little bit from the round pin, we'll come to one of our wash dolls. And in it we have a champion, and he's our Hanoverian Stallion. And we also have Sarah, and she's just giving him a bath. And then right here is another Schleck grooming kit. And it's exactly the same as the one I showed you earlier, and it has the same stuff and everything in it. So I'm not going to like open it up and everything. And then out back the wash doll, there is a big pasture. So this here is Lavender, and she's a pinto yearling. And then behind her, we have Emma, and she's a Shire filly. And then this here is Pokey, and she's a Shetland pony mare. And then here we have Golden Dawn, and she's a Palomino quarter horse. Um, she might not look like a Palomino through the camera, but she's actually a really pretty golden colored. Well, color, not colored. Um, and then this here is Dinah, and she's a pinto mare. And lastly, this is Bella, and she is a tinker mare. And then here they just have some carrots in this little, like, trough thing. That's just for them to snack on. And then if we take the roof off of this barn, there is more animals inside of here. So these here are cows, and this here is the bull, and this is Betsy, and these here are just the two cows, and then here we have Dan, and he's taking care of the cattle, and then over on this side we have our two sheep, and this little goat is named Spike, and there's a little lamb right there. It doesn't have a name, but I got it in a Schleck blind bag, and it is so cute, you guys. This little lamb is adorable. And then if we cross this little pasture right here, we'll come out on the other side at this big, huge one. And then in this big pasture, they have a hay trough with some Schleck bales of hay in it. And then this here is actually Baka, our Persian mare. And she was like one of my first Schleck horses, so she's really beat up, but I still love her. And then that there is Buttermilk and Dusty, and they're both Andalusians. And this is Rosa or Aspen Gold, and she's a halflinger. And those are her two fillies, Sunshine and Lily. And they're both halflingers, just like their mom. And then the little brown colt is Tars, and he's a Hanoverian, by the way. And then that there is Spot, and he's a Nan Strapper colt. And over here we have um, Panky, she is a Shetland Pony. We have Ginger or Ginger May, she's a Tennessee Walker Yearling. And the big spotted horse is Mystic and she's a Nan Strapper Mare. And then over here we have um, Perlina and she is an Appaloosa Philly. And so this here is like a little shelter for the horses out in this pasture. If it's like raining or what have you, they can get under here and stay dry and stay out of the weather. And then of course they have their watering trough. And this here is a little paddock I threw together one day. And in it we have a buck and he has a quarter horse. And in the corner there, there's some like grass and things. And right here we just have two wild deer. So this here is the doe, and I didn't name her, but I did name the fawn Bambi. So they're just hanging out there. And then alongside this barn, we just have a bunch of storage. And we're going to start here with the blanket storage. And this thing here is actually a rabbit coop, but I use it to store my blankets in. And on top, there's just a couple of Schleck blankets. And then inside of it, there's a few blankets that I made. And there's one that Schleck Horse the Girl 11 made, but it actually broke. So I have to get, I have to fix that before I can use it again. And then these two blankets, this pink one and this blue one, were made by Horse Lover for Life 1122. And they're really nice and I use them a lot. 
And then down from the blanket storage, there is a few tack boxes. And in the first one, um, there is like, well, there's three trophies. And I don't have a really nice place to display them at the moment. So they're just in storage right now. And in this one, there is two Western saddle pads and two cat toys. And there's also a lariat back there. And then beside these two tack boxes, there's another box. And on top of it, there's some tack. So there's a Western saddle and some lunging equipment. And inside this box, there is just some clay food and really small silverware and plates and stuff that I made. So when the Schleck people have picnics on the picnic tables, they have food and everything and you know. But anyways, down from that, there is some watering troughs. And these are just extra ones that we're not using right now. And then we have a couple extra crates. And the whole back of this barn is pretty much storage. So yeah. And this guy here is named Jip and he's another one of our farm dogs. And then down here is Lizzie's tack box. And on top of it, there is a saddle pad and two polo wraps. And Lizzie pretty much just has a bunch of miscellaneous tack in her box. So there's some saddles in here, some shellac, some handmade. There's a bunch of saddle pads. Um, I believe it was the saddle here that Horse Lover for Life 1122 made for me. And she also made the girth. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything that is in Lizzie's tack box. And then around the corner of this barn is another wash stall. And then in the wash stall, we have Leanna and Pearl. And Pearl is actually an Appaloosa mare. And there's also this little tiny grooming kit I made. Let me get my camera to focus on it because it's super cute. So yeah, they're really adorable. I really liked making these. And I also just got a few grooming supplies in there. And then if you make a turn from the wash stall and go into the barn, and then if you turn a left, you'll end up in our tack room. And entering the tack room, we have Teresa, and she's just putting away some jumping tack for one of her friends. And then on this wall, this is where we keep most of our saddles and bridles. So we have four saddle racks and four bridle hooks. And then on this back wall is where we keep just about everything else. So there are some sashes, um, halters, lead ropes, and bridles. There's a few hackamores, some crops, um, attachable reins. We basically hang just about everything here. And it might look like a little unorganized, but it actually works really good for us around here. And in the very corner here, we keep a few extra grooming kits. So that's them. And there's one lead rope in here. Well, this here is actually where we keep all of our extra lead ropes on this hook. And there's one lead rope in here made by Schleck Horse Girl 11. And this sash is also made by her. And this pink lead rope, this purple um, halter that has a lead rope attached to it, and this pink halter were made by Horse Lover for Life 1122. And then on this shelf, we keep most of our grooming supplies and stuff like that. So there in the corner, well, that brown box is a medical kit. Um, in that plastic thing, there is dog collars. On the bottom, there's a bunch of brushes, um, a radio. And then on top of the shelf, we have a bunch of buckets. And there is a jumping trophy at the end. And then right here, there is just a hook with more halters. And then on the other side of the tack room is Crystal's stall. And Crystal is owned by Sophie, and she's a Lepizoner mare. And of course, just like the other barn, all the horses in here have their hay, water, feed, grain, you know, all their food. And out front of her stall is her lead rope because she's wearing her halter. And there's also a bucket of grain. So then down from Crystal's stall is Jetta's, and Jetta is actually a black Hanoverian mare, and she's owned by Stephanie, but she's just currently being led out of her stall by Adam, and Adam is actually the owner of the ranch, and he's also Stephanie's dad, so he's just leading her out and going to get her tacked up for his daughter's riding lesson. And then out front of Jetta's stall, there is a wheelbarrow that has some muck in it, and there is also a few mucking tools, like a pitchfork and a broom. 
And then in the next stall, we have Clover and Coco, and they are both quarter horses. And I do know that Coco is supposed to be a track nerd, but I made her a quarter horse basically because I wanted to. And both of these guys are owned by Emily. And then out front of their stall, we have Samuel, the veterinarian, giving Jock R. Clydesdale Gelding a checkup. So then in the next stall down is Trickster, and he is one of our Tennessee Walker Stallions. And then directly across the barn is our other Tennessee Walker Stallion, and his name is Sparks. And then on his halter hook, there is a halter, but it does not belong to him. It is Ginger Mays, and there is also a wheelbarrow in the corner. So right down from Sparks is Dynamite, and he's a Pinto Stallion, and he also belongs to Steve. And this here is Tronta's stall, and she's owned by Teresa, and her show name is Miss America. And then out front of her stall, there is two shelves, and then on top of the top one, there is a grooming kit that was made by Horse Lover for Life 1122. And then out front of Dora's stall, there is another one of these Schleck grooming kits. And I actually showed you two of these earlier. And then this here is Dora's um, rope, halter and lead rope. And then this here is Dora and she's a Frisian mare and she's owned by Leanna. And then one stall down from hers is Alaska's stall and he's a Hanoverian stallion and he is owned by Lizzie. And this here is Jenny, and she's just giving Alaska a few extra pets that he deserves because he's a really good horse and he's really good with kids. And then this here is his halter, and it's a really nice one. I actually made this like a long time ago and it's held up really nice. And out front of his stall, there is also a bale of hay. Okay, so that's everything in this barn. And in my last barn tour, a lot of people like were asking me, did, did I make this barn? Because it's a really big barn and it's made out of wood and everything. So yes, I did make it. My, my dad, brother, and I made it together. So my dad played a really big part in doing these, like, these walls. So we probably could have never did them without him. And my brother made all the halter hooks and the bridle hooks and he also made the saddle racks and the tack room and then I put in all the stalls so we all worked on it together and it turned out really nice. So then if you come out of the barn and hang a left you'll end up over here where we have some more stuff. So this here is Leanna's tack on the saddle rack and this saddle is actually by Schleck Horse Girl 11. And then I put together this bridle and I also made the saddle pad. And then this here is Cuddles and he's just on his way to the barn. And then here we have another paddock and in it we have our mini Shetland family. So this here is our mini Shetland stallion, Pepper. This is Sugar and she's our mini Shetland mare. And this is Cinnamon and she is our mini Shetland foal. And then, of course, they have their apples and grain, and they also have a hay feeder here. And this is Steve, and he has a bucket of water, and he's just going to give that to the ponies. And then here we just have a random blanket sitting on the side of the barn. Um, it belongs with the other blankets out back the barn, but it's just going to hang out here for a while, I guess. So this here is our driveway, and this is Tom and his car. So you might be able to see Tom in there. That's Tom. And then on top, he has a few parts that go with this horse trailer. And this trailer is exactly like the one I showed you earlier, but only it's a different color. And both of these trailers are amazing. And then this here is Emily's car. And since she's at the barn working right now, it's just parked here. And then lastly, we come to our sign and it says, welcome to Silver Star Stables. And it's really cool because it's the first thing visitors in New Border see when they come to our barn. And there's also a few potted flowers. All right, so this is just a quick bird's eye view of my stables. Okay. 
Okay, so congratulations to you if you actually watched this video to the end because I know it was really long, but I just had a lot here I wanted to show you guys and I am so thankful to have this many horses and to be able to have a big stables like this. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. I'll see you all next time. Bye!